Thanks for taking a few minutes to learn about model-based testing and validation with Reactus. Reactus plays a number of important roles in a model-based design process. It gives you a set of tools to test, verify, and truly understand your model's behavior. Reactus can also help you check whether the source code that will ultimately be deployed conforms to the behavior of your model. Reactus provides a complete testing and validation environment for simulating state flow models. In Reactus, you can generate tests that thoroughly exercise your model, simulate your model to help identify and eliminate bugs, and verify that important requirements and attributes of your model are true. These capabilities are realized in three Reactus components, Reactus Tester, Simulator, and Validator. Reactus Tester analyzes your Simulink state flow model and creates optimized tests that comprehensively exercise your model. How does Reactus create a test? To illustrate, we have a small model with three inputs and two outputs. For every time step, Tester intelligently selects new inputs and computes model outputs. Reactus Tester then saves this information as a test. In essence, it creates an intelligent simulation run of your model. Reactus Tester works to create tests that execute as much of your model as possible based on a set of coverage targets. Tester analyzes your model and tries to make each input to a switch block be selected as the output, make each relational and logical operator evaluate to both true and false, enter each state flow state and execute each transition. Reactus tracks these and other coverage targets including the MCDC coverage metric required for safety critical software in commercial aircraft. The generated tests provide a powerful means for debugging your model. Executing the compact yet comprehensive set of tests can uncover runtime errors including overflow errors, divide by zero errors, or other unexpected model behavior. And remember, for each simulation step, Tester keeps track of how the model responds. This provides an easy way to compare one version of the model to another. To do this, you generate tests from version 1 of the model, and then run those tests on version 2. Reactus will compare the outputs produced by version 2 against those in the tests and flag any differences. This comparison will work with C source code as well. First, generate tests from the model, then run those tests against the source code to see how they compare. We've talked a lot about running tests and checking the results. Where does all this happen? Reactus Simulator is the model simulation environment for simulating state flow models. With Simulator, you can run your tests interactively to see how each element of your model responds. A simulation is managed from a simple set of controls in the toolbar. You can execute a single simulation step, in which Reactus reads the inputs, executes the model, and updates the outputs. You can execute a block at a time. You can do a slow simulation in which blocks are highlighted as they execute. Or you can do a fast simulation in which Reactus executes the model but without animation. You can even perform reverse execution. So if you detect a problem, you can go back in time to try to uncover the source of the problem. Simulator tracks the same coverage targets as Tester. When running a test, Simulator uses color to show which coverage targets have been exercised or covered and which have not. These indicators help you understand how each test is affecting your model. You can then decide whether your model has been tested sufficiently or if it needs more testing. Reactus Simulator can show you which switch block paths have been selected, which branches of a relational operator have been taken, which state flow states have been entered, and which transitions have fired. Let's look at an example. Here we see indicators on an AND block. The red 1 and 0 indicate that the block has never evaluated a true or false. When the block output is false, the 0 changes to black. When it evaluates to true, the 1 changes to black. You can right-click on the output of a logical operator block to view the MCDC related targets associated with the block. These and other visual indicators help you understand how comprehensive your tests are and whether they adequately exercise your model. 
In addition to the highlighting in the main diagram, coverage information can be obtained from the Coverage Summary dialog, which gives summary statistics, or from the Coverage Report Browser, which gives a complete listing of the status of all coverage targets in the model. An HTML coverage report can also be exported. In addition to tracking coverage, Simulator is also a fully functional debugging environment for models. Let's review some of the features. You can hover over any signal wire to see its current value, or open a scope to see its signal history, or add the signal to the list of watch variables. Data tracking works the same for state flow variables. You can set breakpoints on any Simulink block, or state flow state, or transition. You can interactively construct a test by feeding in the input values to drive the simulation. When you enter this mode of operation, you have a dialog which lists each input to the model. You can then specify a value for any of those inputs, and then take a step which will use the values you've specified for the inputs. You can highlight any signal to trace that through the different levels of the model. So far we've seen how Reactus Tester and Simulator can help you debug your model, finding runtime errors, detecting unexpected behavior, and tracking coverage. We've also seen how the tests generated by Reactus can be used to check whether source code conforms to a model. The third component, Reactus Validator, helps you check whether a model violates its requirements. Validator lets you formulate model requirements and then performs an automated check for a violation of a requirement in your model. If it finds a violation, it provides a test that demonstrates the problem. Even when you are running other tests or simulations, Validator monitors your model to make sure your requirements remain true. In this case, Validator found a violation at test 4, step 82. We can then load test 4 and execute until step 82. And then investigate the problem. We can even back up to see what happened prior to the error. Reactus provides a C-like syntax to allow you to describe your model requirements. Alternatively, you can use Simulink state flow diagrams to create these requirements. If you have C code in your model in the form of S functions or Stateflow custom code, the Reactus for C plugin integrates seamlessly with Reactus to offer white box analysis of the C code portions of your model. Reactus has many more features that can help you test and validate your model and code. For a free 30 day trial, just sign in, download the software, and request a trial license. Thank you for watching Model Based Testing and Validation with Reactus.